Sometimes people say, oh, you've had so much success, you've had so much good luck. There's always more to that story. If you persevere and if you get through the hard times, and we all have them, there, there's a terrific life out there. Lorna Schofield's success story emulates the American dream. A first-generation Filipino-American raised by a single mother in the small town of New Haven, Indiana, Lorna's early beginnings were not free of challenges. However, her mother's lessons guided her toward excellence. She was um, alone raising me. I didn't have any siblings. So the story I tell is that my mother would ground me when I got bees. I am who I am mostly because of who she is, striving to be better. Her determination to be better eventually led her to the doorstep of Indiana University. Indiana was really a pivotal time in my life. Um, it was the transition point between the world I grew up in in New Haven, where I was a small town girl, but it was very constrained. And Indiana was really the point that opened my world intellectually, geographically. It's what got me interested in um, great literature, in great thoughts. You know, my world was pretty small at the time. Lorna's time at IU was indeed life-altering, marked with many great experiences and achievements. But a fateful study abroad opportunity to Germany was a turning point in her life. And it just seemed like such an exciting opportunity to see a different life and to expand my world. And so I came home and I said, guess what, I want to go to Germany. And she was, um, she was very sober about it. She discouraged me from going, but in the end she said, no, you should, you should do it. It's something you really want to do. And so I did. And then I heard when I was in Germany that she needed to have surgery. I came back for the surgery. She died right after the surgery. I was I, I found out about it on a plane on the tarmac about to take off. Um, so it was, it was, that was pretty hard. Turning her tragedy into triumph, she went on to pursue a degree in law. The diverse upbringing that shaped Lorna's character helped her to blaze a trail among her peers. As a lawyer, she represented numerous high profile companies and clients, including Rosie O'Donnell. Additionally, she served in many distinguished leadership roles. She rose to be the chair of the litigation section of the American Bar Association, has over 60,000 members. She was the first Asian American to be the chair of the litigation section. It's really important for people to be heard, not just to win in order to feel good about the process and the justice system, but they do need to be heard. So that's what I really try to emphasize. Judge Lorna Schofield was appointed by Barack Obama as the first Filipino-American Article III judge. She's had an incredible career with a large amount of success. Also, I think, represents the understanding that in order to do so, one has to often overcome uh, hardships and, and do so with grace. And in fact, that is exactly what she's done. That Hoosier spirit and that Hoosier foundation definitely have an impact on being able in serving in probably the busiest federal district court in the United States. She represented the best of the legal profession in a way that we would all hope it would be. She now serves the community on the bench at the United States District Court in New York and is a mentor to those who seek a similar pathway. Many of my law clerks are diverse. It's a wonderful experience for someone at my, you know, point in my professional life to try to really bring up young people. What's most endearing is her knowledgeable perspective that life's hardships will always help illuminate your path to success. The advice that I give young people, whether they're studying law or anything else, is to get out in the world. Seize the day. Uh, if there's something you really want to do, do it now. What makes a successful life, I think, is just seizing opportunities that happen to come your way.